and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who do not know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm going to be doing my first check-in for the 90s movie project pan that I'm doing here with my good friend Raven. I'm super excited about this check-in, but I also want to let you guys know that there's not a ton of progress. I need to get back into the swing of things with makeup. Like, I don't apply it every single day as I used to. Now it's just more when I'm feeling like it. So I need to, I need to get better at that to really get the benefit of project panning. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to just talk about where I'm at. The first thing I want to talk about is the Scaredy Cats Kid You Not pigment. It's that red. I use this once. I'm actually debating whether I want to take this sticker off so I can, or part of this sticker. Here we go. I'm taking part of the sticker off, you guys, right now. I It's still super, super full. I'm probably going to mark it after this, like right at the top. But it is still a super full pigment. But I used it once. And I'm content with that. I think pigments are generally just going to be harder to get full use out of, and that's okay. Let's go into the Colored Rain Smoke Show palette. There it is. Now, Raven actually gave me this palette, so there had been a little use in the black before. I've used the black shade this past month three times, and I've been liking it in the outer V of my eye. It's really where I found the most use of it. I wish it was not a shimmery black though. I think I would get a lot more use out of it if it wasn't a shimmery black. But I'm hoping as it gets into more fall I, and I start doing more smoky looks that I'll really get some use out of that black shade. Now we're gonna go into my singles which actually have a little bit more use than the other two products. So we're going to talk about my Coastal Scents Single Shadow in Bright Yellow here. I've actually used this, I want to say about four times. There's a little bit of a dip in it because this is a very powdery shadow. And that's about, that's the only reason there's a dip in it. I do like to use this when I'm using other yellows to kind of set down first and then work another yellow on top of it to make it really, really bright. This yellow is pretty bright though for it being a coastal scent shadow. Then I want to get into this one. So I'm going to be completely honest. The only reason some of these have dips in them is because they are powdery shadows. I have not been digging in to them. It's just the way the shadows are. I think a lot of these are more pressed pigments than actual um, like eyeshadow. And pressed pigments sometimes can break up and get a little loose when you are using them. This is from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics. It's a duo chrome. I have been using this quite a bit lately. I've been putting it in my inner corners and on my brow bone a lot. I have it on my in my inner corner and on my brow bone today. And I just, I really like it. I've also used it as a bit of a highlight. And it's just very nice. I also like it all over the lid. Like if you put down a pink shadow and then put this on top of it, I think it is beautiful. Then we have this shade here. This is Sapphire. I'm scared to lift this up because I'm scared. Okay, it'll be okay. This is Sapphire by Sparrow Cosmetics. I've used this one once and it's, I've had, I had to repress it you guys because I dropped it and I almost broke it. And I, these Sparrow Cosmetics shadows that I've had have been dropped so many times and I just feel so bad. So I'm not trying to break them. I'm trying to use them. Then I have, this is from Looks to Kill by Gabby, and this one is, every time I dip a brush into it, it just kind of crumbles. So I think I'm going to hit pan on this quickly, but you guys, it is not by my actual use of the product. And that kind of tells me more about how this was pressed than anything. Um, I want to show you, but I also don't want to, okay. I'm not going to, we'll show you keep debating but when I dip a brush in do you guys see like it comes right off like I just I don't want to yeah I'm gonna set that down because I don't want to get it everywhere and I don't want to lose the product but yeah 
I just, I don't, every time I dip a brush in there and put it somewhere, I, it crumbles and yeah, like it didn't show a lot of crumbling there. I'll do it one more time. See, I just slightly, did you see? It fell. It fell. And that's what's been happening to me every time I dip a brush in. Nah, I just, it's pretty though. <laughs> this is also a Sparrow Cosmetics eyeshadow. This is in Garnet. And I've used this one a few times. I like to use it in combination with the Enchanted Luster pigment. I think the two look very pretty together. So that is why that one has a bit of a dip in it. Then there is this one. This is Nautical. And I like to use that one with the Blue Sparrow Cosmetics one. This, the last item here, I have not touched yet. It looks like I have, but I haven't, not recently anyway, um, not for this project pan. This is another, uh, this is an eyeshadow, I, I know I keep swatching these ones because they're pretty. This is another eyeshadow from Looks to Kill Cosmetics by Gabby, and I just have not dipped into this shade yet. I haven't found a way to use it. I wish... So in the pan, to me, it comes off more orange. When I swatch it, it's more this coral pinky color. And I kind of wish it was more orange. That's just my opinion. Well, there is my lackluster uh, project pan check-in for the 90s collab. I really hope Raven did much better than I did. Uh, I need to really, really use my products a little better and I'm going to make an effort to really use these items in this next month because I really do want to make some progress I also want to make some progress on the other project pan I'm working on so I probably will use all of the items together and just really see what happens this upcoming month I'm really going to strive to do makeup every single day of September and a full face of makeup every single day in September that is going to be a challenge for me but I want to document it and I and I want to put a video up of all of the images just to let you guys know. There's a woman on here. Oh, why can't I remember her name at this moment? I will link her channel down below. She does Project Pan lookbooks with all of the makeup and the eye looks and things she does for a month. And I really think that's a good idea and I want to start doing that. So I'll have her channel linked down below as well as Raven so that you can go see her update. But... That's what I think I'm going to try and do for September and I'm going to do both project pan items. So anytime I use a project pan item, I'm going to take a picture of the look so that I have record of me actually using these products because I think that's really going to push me to actually use them. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. There will be another project pan update for the other project pan I'm doing. I'm trying to pan 12 items in 2018. So that will probably actually be up tomorrow or the next day. Just so you guys are aware, I am a project panner. I can't help it. I'm into it. I, I love trying to use items up. So yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope that you have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are. And bye!